Hey everyone, welcome back. Well, as promised, I am reviewing the Coach Cassie bag for you today. If you follow me on Instagram, then you saw I posted this last month right after I got it. And it is a bag that I know is on a lot of people's minds because it is very close to the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. Um, speaking of, I don't know if I ever told you guys that I had that bag. I feel like I did because I was in the middle of a video just like this reviewing it a couple of years ago when I got it. I think it was January 2017. And I got that bag and it had a defect on it. And so I sent it back and of course that was in the height of its popularity and I couldn't get my hands on it again. Then I saw it again last, like the end of 2018, I think, or sometime 2018 in St. Thomas and I had the opportunity to buy it, but I didn't because there was just something, you know, I was hearing too many complaints about it basically. So I've had the opportunity to buy it a couple times and have passed. So if you have had your eye on the Louis Vuitton, this may be a alternative for you because the price point is definitely a lot cheaper. This is $350. The leather is exceptional. If you know anything about coach leather, that is what they are known for basically. And I love that they are getting back to their roots basically. They have a new creative director. And if you have not checked out the website, which I will link it below along with all the information about this bag, definitely give it a look because there are a lot of really cool looking bags on the site. Again, the price point is great and Coach Leather is awesome. If you've never felt it, it is very high quality leather. To me, their leather bags have always been some of the best. So in talking about the comparisons, um, it is a very similar bag. So this is what it looks like. This is the one that I have and I will go into more detail about it. But you can see the size, the features, it is very close to the Pichette Matisse. Um, it comes in a lot of different colors. People are calling it a do. People are saying coach, you know, stole it from Louis Vuitton. That's actually not true because there are a couple vintage coach bags that were out a long time ago. I actually had one of them that are very similar to this. They're basically, they're just reinventing a style they had from before. One of it is the Willis bag is similar. And then one of it is the Court bag. The Court bag looks very similar to this, but it was all one color, very cool bag. It was one of those years ago, um, I was talking to my mom about it. I was like, God, I wish I would have kept that bag. It's one of those that, you know, things you get rid of later and then they come back or you just, some things are just timeless. I've always wanted that bag still. So a lot of people I know like this because of just that classic design, the top handle, the removable strap. So um, this is the one I chose. And what is funny is when I went in thinking I would probably get the black because I have not been a fan of the coach signature logo for a long time. But let's get real, logos are back. All the big bag companies are coming out with logos everywhere. And I think with Gucci having such a comeback with their logo and incorporating their original logo now, it just makes this look, I don't know, not as dated. It's a little more appealing. They have kind of changed up the logo. On a lot of the Cassie bags, you will see the bubble C here. This one is just round. Um, so I definitely think it's an updated version and I was really drawn to this color combo. I love this one. It comes again in a lot of different colors and it depends if you get it straight from coach or different, um, you know, retailer, different retailers will carry different things, but they are all the time. I feel like even since I bought mine coming out with new ones, I would have loved to have this in just a plain tan cognac color, which I have seen now. Um, it is lighter than this. But I also really love this one. There's something very retro 70s, very vintage um, coach about this look of this bag. I just really love the color combination. And again, I've gotten so many questions every time I show this on Instagram. So this is the one I chose. My husband was really into this too when we were looking at other ones. This is the one that kept catching his eye. I kept going back to this one myself. They have this pattern in some other bags as well that again, it just, something about it is just very cool looking. It's very edgy, new, modern twist. Um, the solid color ones, most of them are a pebbled leather where this is a smooth leather. I'm attracted more to the smooth leather. When I was looking at the black, 
I just wasn't loving the pebbled leather as much and especially in the black for some reason that just wasn't my style. They do have a very pretty like creamy white color. Uh, they didn't have that when I was looking for this one. I might have bought that one. I mean heck at this price let's be honest you could buy two of these and still be a lot cheaper than the Louis Vuitton. So I hate comparing the two because you know they're just such different levels but you know if you are looking for that this is just as good a bag because I've actually owned both of them at one time, even though the Louis Vuitton was a very short, short moment that I had it. So it has a slip pocket, which will stretch out over time. Mine's a little stretched out because I typically keep my phone in there. I do have a loopy case. So it is, uh, you know, a little bit hard to get in there and we'll stretch it out slightly like this, but I don't mind. So I just kind of shove that in there. I like that I can just kind of have it hanging out like this. Of course, if you don't have a big case on it, it will go all the way down in there. Again, it does have the top handle, so you can hold it like this, which I love. You can remove the strap and just carry it like this. I went ahead and just left uh, the coach tag on. These are updated as well and look nice. And it has the three compartments here. So I would say, uh, as we're talking about the strap, my only complaint with this is I wish this wasn't as large. This can come undone, I feel like, too easy. And I'll show you when I stand up. Um, when you're getting in and out of the bag, when this is like this, this can catch right under here a little bit. But that's my only complaint. It's nothing major, but I, it is something to, I feel like, talk about and it's something I notice um, you know, quite often getting in and out of the bag. It is um, adjustable as well. So I have it um, kind of right in the middle. So it just has the turn lock open and then it has that really pretty uh, cranberry lining. Now they're all gonna be a little bit different on the lining. So. I'm actually gonna stand up here so I can show you a little bit better what I have inside. This pocket right here in the front, it's surprisingly, it holds a lot, but yet it looks really thin. So it will open quite a bit. And I just have a card case in there and some tissues. But as you can see, um, you have a lot more room than that. And then in the main compartment, I have um, my key card here that I just have sitting up. It does have a zip compartment and then it has the coach um, leather labeling right there. I have some mints, some vitamins, compact, hand sanitizer, and my cards. And then again, you can see you have a lot more room. Now, with my sunglasses, what I do, I either have them in the case or I will just lay them on top right here. So that's not a problem, but you could definitely fit a um, sunglass case right there and it would fit fine. So again, it has a zippered pouch, but then it also has a slip pocket on the other side. As far as the back, um, right now I don't have a whole lot in there. I have a pen, some gum, and lip gloss. So it really does hold a lot and it will, you know, even though this is canvas and this is leather, it will stretch how you need, you can see. And I have not had any issue with this being, um, you know, this is the problem on a lot of flat bags right here with the piping. This is extremely well made and I don't have any problem at all with it. So this just gives you a little bit better close up view. You can see that really nice leather and it's just one of those that just gets softer. So here again, so what it looks like. So here's what it looks like on. And this is what I mean by, so I'm just gonna undo it here. And if I'm trying to get in it and then put this back, it sometimes gets caught right here. So sometimes you just have to like make sure those aren't, see they can get right here. You just have to make sure that isn't right there. And this is what it looks like crossbody. So 
So hopefully you could see um, in that little footage I put, that is the only problem. I wish, um, I feel like this is definitely vintage coach, the way this looks, how it attaches. So I understand why it looks that way, but um, it's just right there. It can literally, um, you know, hook right on the top of that bag as you're trying to get in and out of the flap. I don't notice it all the time. And literally all I have to do is like, you know, when this is up like this, I just kind of have to, you know, lift it up and back over so that, you know, it gets away from this. But seriously, that's not been a problem. I would literally consider getting another one of these in a different color. It's a great bag for organization. I love that it's different. I love that it's not the Louis Vuitton out there that everybody has. I mean, that's why I was drawn to this. It's like, I love that it's different, but yet it has a classic style and shape. It goes with a lot. It'll be great this fall with the colors. Again, I just thought the colors was very retro 70s. Loved it, but yet I've been carrying it, you know, this summer too, and it looks fine. You've got so many color combinations. They also have color blocking with different colors here. Just a lot of different combinations, and it, they may even be coming out with more, but again, check out the site. I will link it below and I'll link, you know, whatever information I can have like in certain colors. If you're looking for certain colors, I'll put those colors where I can find them. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Again, I'm really enjoying the bag. Uh, let me know if you guys have the bag. If you are planning on getting the bag, send me, you know, a picture on Instagram, tag me or something and let me know. Um, it's just for the price point. It's such a great bag. And to me, you cannot go wrong with coach leather. It's just their leather bags are definitely timeless. If I didn't answer your question, leave me a comment below. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.